Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a really, really long time um, since I posted. I think we were still living in the apartment, um, which, man, I think we moved out in like April, so that's pretty bad. Um, anyway, I just wanted to jump on and say I'm back. Um, I needed a much needed break. Um, it was getting really stressful. We were in moving, there was a bunch of transition happening in life. Um, we had lots of weddings to attend in California early in the year and so it was just like there was So much going on in life that I literally was just like I don't have any creative energy, which um, For me is really unusual. I am like a creative person Constantly like doing something and I literally just stopped it all. I like stopped hand lettering I stopped creating videos I stopped painting and drawing and like even my calendars over the summer which if you know me like I'm a planner I have a thousand different planners and journals and all the things for the four months or whatever that I've been gone they're like empty there's nothing on them so I don't know what was going on but whatever it was I clearly needed a break and now I have like all of this energy and creativity pouring out of me <laughs> so um yeah we're just going to jump right into a bunch of new videos um i'm really excited to record um i have like the rest of the year planned out with two videos a week we're gonna see if that works um hopefully we will i don't know editing takes the longest time it's not that i don't like have time to create the videos creating the videos is like seriously the easiest part of having a vlog it is the editing part um because there's just so much that goes into it behind the scenes um and i'm not like a quick editor my husband he literally put all of our youtube videos together usually in one night like he would just be like oh after dinner just put his headphones on and work until 2 a.m and it'd be done but those videos are 20 minutes long and they're amazing and he has like all these clips and the audio transitions and all the things and here i am like <laughs> It takes me like two hours just to edit uh, audio on me talking to my camera. Oh, go figure. Anyway, he's way better at it. He also just doesn't like it. I have begged him multiple times to like, hey, let's do our adventure outside the lines again. Like we've been asked multiple times. I love those videos. It pushed us outside of our comfort zone. Everybody else really loved it. Um, also, I really loved the sponsorships that we were getting <laughs> Those were really fun and it was fun to be able to like work with Yeti and work with a few other um, RV companies and things like that. You know, I digress. He doesn't like it. I like it. Here we are. Um, okay, so going forward, I'm in the two videos a week, I'm going to try to do one that involves the church um, and then one that is just practical for everyday life. Um, that way it's not always church stuff, but you are going to get the availability of church stuff. So like Advent season, I have so much stuff for Advent season I want to share. And so that's all going to come out probably October, early November, so that you're ready for Advent instead of it being like Advent and me being like, hey, here's all the stuff for Advent that now it's already started. And um, oh, Christmas is, you know, 30 days away. No, that's not going to happen this year because that was me last year of me trying to play catch up and it was really stressful. Um, so that's what you're going to see in October, November. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff for Lent coming out earlier too. So I don't even know when Lent is because I haven't looked. Um, also, my life as far as like the church is concerned has a lot to do with the Prusia Press calendars and they haven't released their 2022 calendar yet or their planner yet which I just saw that they said it's gonna come out in a few weeks, which I'm really excited about. So I usually order those early so I can start planning, but that keeps me on like the church calendar and feast days and all the things. Otherwise, I'm just like, oh my, I don't know which direction to look. There's so many things. Um, so yeah, that'll be how it's gonna be going forward. Um, I'm also gonna be talking a lot about some basic church stuff. So that, you know, a lot of catechumens um, tend to follow me um, just because obviously like I went through that and I've been there and I lived <laughs> my life like growing up in the Protestant church. And I think that there's a transition period that um, 
a lot of people overlook where you're just like, you have so many questions. And even like Father Evan, you know, he told us, he's like, oh, it's gonna take years for you and it's fine. Like you'll just pick it up as you go along, which I totally get and I totally love that. But I think that there's some things that I'm like, oh, if I could touch on this topic and share, maybe that'll answer some questions. Um, I recently did a reel on my Instagram of two ways I wear head coverings. You guys, the response was completely insane. Like I had so many messages and like, I never get tons of messages. Usually I get like a bunch of likes or whatever and that's just it. Um, no, this one was so many people thanking me, asking me for more, asking me for other head covering options, asking me to share where I buy them from, companies I recommend, all the things. Um, I have friends who've been Orthodox for way longer than me who were like, I wanna start wearing head covering. I don't know where to start. Could you please share? So you're gonna start seeing a lot of like basic stuff like that of just like when you're coming into the church, there's just some things that you don't quite understand, but maybe you would like answered. Also, if there are any topics specifically, drop them in the comment box below because I want to definitely get to them. Um, I'm in no shortage of content right now, but um, if you guys are requesting specific videos, I'd love to get them out there. Um, especially if they're like on certain topics where, um, you know, like last year I did all those Lenten videos with Father Evan, but I never posted them. And then we like skipped the whole Holy Week one. So there's a lot going on. So I just noticed that there's like something in my vent and I'm hoping it's not a spider. <laughs> um, it's probably not, but you know, I'm just like, what is that thing? Um, okay, anyway, also the second topic that will be coming out is going to be um, like everyday life practicality on parenting hacks and marriage and cleaning and whatever inspires me. I don't really know. I have it all written down. Um, for just different topics. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm also going to attempt, we'll see, um, trying to do a short, at least one a week. Um, those are kind of like Instagram reels or TikToks, and now YouTube's jumping on, I'm calling them shorts. Um, so those will be coming out as I figure out my life in that situation. Um, as always, hit the subscribe button because there's gonna be a ton of content coming out. I'm gonna try to be better. Also, follow me on Instagram, comment below with any content you do want to see. Oh, did I miss anything? Oh, and you guys, I got the cutest little puppy recently. She is adorable. Um, I have no idea where she's at. I really wanted to show you her. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Look at how cute. <laughs> she has her little ball in her mouth. She. Her name is Everest. I call her Evie. She is a little Bernadoodle. Um, she is seriously the sweetest dog. She's gonna be big. She's already big. I'm not glad I had to carry her upstairs. Anyway, thought I'd show you guys my puppy. Um, that's all for today. I'm super, super excited about everything that's coming up. Like, subscribe, comment below, do all the wonderful things, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!